You've uh, written a book on Yogi Adityanath. So you've obviously yeah. explored his, uh, his thoughts on statecraft. Yeah. But the truth is that uh, he's considered to be a hardliner uh, whose views on religion, whose views on many things are looked at with skepticism. Do you think he's a secular person who represents the state well? And uh, do you think, or do you think he's a hardliner? Or is he some, someone in between? Uh, so Utkarsh, uh, on 19th of March in 2017, when Yogi Aitanath took oath, uh, uh, during February and March, I was, I was uh, going around of UP, publicizing my previous book in Hindi, Uttar Pradesh Vikas Ki Pratikshama, as you told in my bio. And I got the chance to listen to him firsthand many a times in many rallies. I've seen his rallies are very well attended, like almost like of Mr. Modi, even in small, smaller areas. And, and in, a, in a true democracy, I normally measure everything with the, with the popularity you have. And then I started researching about it, and, and I went to Uttarakhand, where he's born and brought up uh, for around 15, 20 days, lived in Gorakhpur, talked to uh, his, 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 his fans, his detractors. Uh, and I got a very different Yogi Adityanath. Because when, when my team researched, they gave me some 300 articles, national, international, uh, after he becoming chief minister, before he uh, becoming chief minister. Uh, 99% was negative. Uh, and my, my query was, and with this query I went to feel that how, how can someone who is so popular, who has become five-time Lok Sabha MP, winning uh, election with exponential margins, how can everything about him be negative, right? Uh, with, this, with this query, I, I went in the field, and what I found is very, very different, which I documented in my book. And to my mind, uh, I represent Yogi in my book with these this four ideas. And I'll narrate those few, it'll, it'll take three, four minutes. Uh, first thing, he's 44 years old. Now he's 45, when I wrote the book a year back, it was before he was 44. And for some reason, we never heard a, a title, a young chief minister. For some reason, the saffron robe, or whatever whatever uh, construct around in the media. As Abhay said, he used to hate Modi because of the perception he had through media or whatever he read, right? That's our window to a politician or to a leader. Uh, so he's a young politician. For some reason, let's say someone like a Rahul Gandhi is young in 47, 48. Akhilesh was young but in, in 40, but Rahul uh, uh, Yogi Aitanath was not young in 44, 45. That's one. Second thing, he's a parliamentarian from last five years. He's winning five Lok Sabha election with exponential margins. I thought, let me inquire what's happening. Like, uh, is he a good parliamentarian or not? So there are two ways you can you can judge a parliamentarian, how he's doing in the ground and how he's doing in the parliament. These are the two places where he has to perform. When you see his parliamentary data, and to my convenience, first I compared his parliamentary data with Rahul Gandhi's parliamentary data. Parliamentary data are four, four points. Your attendance, the number of debates you participate in, number of questions you ask, and number of private member bills you produce. These are the four things you do in parliament. Attendance, like I'll say Rahul Gandhi was here, Yogi Atanath was here. Number of questions, uh, Rahul Gandhi asked zero questions. Uh, Yogi Atanas asked three, not three questions. And mind you, I'm talking about 2014 to 17 when it was U Modi government. So uh, Yogi is asking more questions to his government, so to say, right? So zero, 300. Rahul Gandhi participated in some eight discussions. I may be number wise here and there, and he participated in 53 uh, debates. Uh, Rahul Gandhi presented zero private member bill, very in important instrument. If the government is not doing it, you can present a bill. Uh, uh, Yogi Atanath presented three private member bills. A lot of people asked me, that's a convenient comparison. So I also compared with the national average. In national average also, Yogi Atanath is almost one and a half times of the national average of all the MPs, right? So, and now people will ask me that what is he asking? Is he asking make Ram Mandir, uniform civil code? He's certainly asking them. But again, 95% of, uh, of his questions are, I say, of Shashi Tharoor kind of questions, right? Like he's asking about conditions of IITs, IIMs, non-performing assets, relationship with US. US, UK, Israel, malnutrition, your airports, he's asking about them, right? Um, uh, only thing, because we have only seen certain videos of him given in an electorally charged environment, we have typecasted him certain image. Though I have, I, 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 I have a detail about those videos and those, those statements also. But at least he's a very nuanced parliament, parliamentarian. He's doing this from when he was 26 and now when he's 40. So 19 in his parliament, he's rigorously doing it. Uh, and because of him, a lot of things have come to Gorakhpur. Uh, AIMS is coming to Gorakhpur, new fertilizer factory started in Gorakhpur. And, and so th that's one, that's, that's his, his performance in the parliament. 
Now coming to his constituency, which is Gorakhpur, which is winning from last last five times. What is he doing there? Uh, so he has a very interesting routine. In the morning, he gets up at. In fact, there's a joke when he became who gets up early, Modi or Yogi? It's four or five, right? So that's kind of disciplined life they live. So he gets up at four. He does his his his, his daily activities. He takes a huge. Uh, it's a huge mat there, Gorakhnath mat. He takes a huge chakkar of the uh, whole mat. And then he comes back, does his daily activities, comes back to the ground. Around 9, 9.30, he sets a Janta Darbar. So when Akhilesh Yadav or uh, Ajarind Kejriwal or Nitish Kumar runs a Janta Darbar, it's become a news. And they are chief ministers, right? Yogi Atanath is running a Janta Darbar from last 20 years without being a chief minister. 100, 200 people come to his, his Darbar, so to say. And they come with very normal queries. They don't come to get a petrol pump uh, or to get a uh, tender. They come for their scholarship, their, their refund, their, their insurance money. And, and that office works like a CM office. Letters, phones to DMs, phones to CDOs, and th things are getting sorted there. And there visually you can see a lot of Muslims coming there. And on the question this Muslim, I'm sure you will eventually ask him, ask me. So the chief architect of the mat is a Muslim. Half of the shops are given to Muslims. Uh, the dean of one of his colleges is Muslim. So I think because people have just painted ba based on some some interviews he must have given or some speeches they painted of the Muslims in Gorakhpur love him. Uh, so so that's on field. So he, he knows like a, and then after the Janta Darbar he goes to the field. Uh, in fact when, when, when I was in, 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 in one of the Janta Darbar before he became the CM uh, one guy was Muslim guy. He was visually Muslim was able to see the skull cap on the beard. He was coming with this letter. Uh, so uh, if I say this in Hindi I'll be far more impactful. I'll translate. So uh, I asked him, "Ki kya hai?" So he said, "Ye Baba ki jadu hi chitti hai. Chahe Neta ji ki sarkar ho ya Bhain ji ki sarkar ho, DM kaam karega hi karega." So this is a very UP uh, coded terms. I'll tell you what does it mean. Baba means Yogi Atena. It's called Baba. Neta ji means Mulayam Singh Yadav. Bhain ji means Mayawati. And DM means district letter. So he he said it's a magical letter from Yogi Atena. Even if it's a Mulayam government or even it's a Mayawati government, this letter will make they will force the DM to act. So that's kind of clout he has because of his uh, work in the field. Last thing people blame him that he's a yogi, he just know puja, uh, like can he manage a state like Uttar Pradesh. Just for them, uh, the mutt is managing some 44, 45 institutions. And these are these are institutions, a nursing institution, medical institution, colleges, schools. And he works like a CEO. Like I've seen he's conducting his meetings, he's signing checks, he's asking what's the performance, how many people are coming, going. Uh, and luckily, he, he made me private to a couple of his meetings after becoming CM. I'll quote one of the meetings. Uh, it's not so confidential, so I can quote. I didn't quote that in my book, though. Uh, so uh, all the minister was sitting, all the bureaucrats were sitting after he became the chief minister. And I think one of the ministers asked that uh, UP should have more airports. UP have hardly had four functioning airports, such a large state. It's the sixth more populous country in the world, if world to be a country. Uh, so someone asked that we should have more airports. And for the next five, six minutes, Yogi Atanath spoke on airports. Like what kind of tarmac, what Boeing, and what kind of signals, and everybody was uh, like, like we thought like he knows only puja. But people have not realized that he's in parliament from last 20 years. He's asking various kind of questions. He represented government of India in various countries. So he's a very smart politician. For some reason, as he said, we have a typical image of someone, that someone who causes, uh, uh, vouches for a Hindu cause, or for a cultural cause, for Indian cause, has to be stupid. That that image we have created, which I've tried, uh, try, tried to put a counter view in my book. I think rest, uh, I'll, I'll say uh, as we proceed, but that's 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 uh, uh, the image of Yogi Atanath when I uh, rigorously researched it.